We don't want to train students how to use a tool. We want to train them how to answer questions using spatial data, and the tool is GIS. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census happens, and so legislative redistricting is the process of redrawing those districts to reflect the new population figures. GIS, or Geographic Information Systems, is a tool that includes the data, the operations, the people, the equipment that we use to analyze and visualize spatial information. And here the spatial information is census data, along with a bunch of other different socioeconomic indicators to draw the boundaries that define these districts. We realized that there was a synergy between our two fields. Because I've always been interested in gerrymandering and know that it's very much a spatial issue, it seemed like a natural fit. So I, I just blindly showed up at your conference and went up and introduced myself. And, you suggested we talk, and then you suggested we should do a class on it. The first time that we taught this class, it, it just worked out beautifully because the, the federal district court in Virginia was hearing arguments in a case involving racial gerrymandering. So the allegation was that 11 districts had been racially gerrymandered. The project that each of the teams set out to do was to remedy the, the districts from this court case. So how can we do a better job than the legislature did? As you draw the boundaries, you can recalculate your compactness. And it was a great way to expand what the undergrads who already knew some GIS were learning. Right, they're learning a new technique, they're learning about these new calculations, the problems with these new calculations. And so it gave us a lot of opportunities, not only to teach the law students a little bit about GIS, teach the undergrads a little bit about law, but teach everyone a little bit more about some of the concepts that went into drawing these districts. Those of our students who are interested in pursuing careers in the political law space are tremendously enriched and they stand out as candidates in a job field where you, I don't, I don't know of any other law students that have any formal course offerings that would involve um, this kind of interdisciplinary work. Well, for me, it was really fun to, to work with Rebecca on this class because I learned a ton about gerrymandering and, and the law and was able to put it in context of what I normally think about in my day-to-day -day work on GIS. Blending these teams with undergrads and law students I think was a really unique approach and I think the students valued greatly from that opportunity to be able to work with students from across campus, from a, a group that they wouldn't normally interact with. <laughs> Once you unlock this kind of potential, which is essentially what the Reveal program does, um, you just open up a, a huge universe of possibility. You know, it's, it's, it's out of the ordinary from what you typically do. So I feel like it's really added to teaching at this school.